So Eddie and I were both working at a large global bank together, and someone came over to us and said, hey, listen, I've got some money, like, what should we be doing? And this light bulb went off. We know that people don't understand investing, they're not investing, they're not saving, because there's this huge financial literacy problem. And we said, if this person who works in finance doesn't know what to do with their money, what chance does an everyday American do? And so we became obsessed with this idea. So we went down to the streets and we asked uh, your FedEx workers, your Uber drivers, you know, what do you do? Tell me about your finances. We started hearing very similar answers from people when we started digging in, which was, I never learned about any of this stuff at home from my parents. I never learned about it at school. And I'll do it later when I'm rich. That really kind of centered us into understanding that there is a really big problem when it comes to saving and investing removing those constraints that a lot of the large incumbent financial companies have put with high minimums, no advice, no education, and reframing it into building a company that could actually be there to serve Americans is kind of what we, we accidentally stumbled upon just by talking to people in the street. And when you look at the way the, the financial system is set up currently, it really does uh, inhibit and um, punish people that don't have a lot of money. And so when we think about what our mission is, is how do we take someone that has, has been afraid of finances and arm them with the tools and the education to actually get them started on their journey? Since the beginning days, it was just Eddie and I, and then it started expanding. And now we have almost 500 employees. It requires long days, sometimes sleepless nights to build a company like this because it needs a lot of energy, and quite frankly, it still does. We wanted to build a culture at Stash that we can look back in 30 years' time and go, wow, we built something really special. And you do that by building an incredible team, being really focused on our core values as a company, and creating a really inclusive and diverse workforce. For us, it's about delivering real value to help each customer start thinking about how they can change their financial futures for the better. And so we uh, established what we call the Stash Way, which is three simple things. It's to help our customers get diversified. It's to continue to help them try to add little bits of money on a regular basis and to run a buy and hold strategy. When you think about customers that live paycheck to paycheck, the knowledge that they gain by using the app, the kind of the learn by doing, aspect of what Stash is, so you can invest with as little as a dollar, would actually create an incredible amount of empowerment uh, and kind of um, faith that they are actually getting their lives and their finances on track. Each person has their own unique set of problems or things that they worry about when it comes to money. And it's Stash's job to not only understand what someone is dealing with or what someone is trying to achieve, but actually deliver it and you know, turn their futures into hope when it comes to money. At the end of the day, our customers need stash and they need advice and they need education. What they don't need is a casino. That's not gonna help people get rich. Long-term planning and advice around wealth creation is a really important thing and quite frankly, it's missing for pretty much every single American. Now, at this size, it's not everything is not about Ed and I. It's about the incredible team that we have and them going and executing and them believing in the mission because that mission that we had is still really important, as important today as it was seven years ago. I think we've only just scratched the surface of what Stash is capable of doing. As I think through, like, our mission is how do we just go and help more people? How do we help 25 million customers? How do we help 50 million customers? How do we help customers that are not just in the US, but overseas? This is a global problem. If you're leaving cash in the bank, you're basically becoming poorer every day. And so with our education, our platform, we can actually help our customers do more with their money and build stronger financial habits. And so I'm very ambitious on uh, you know where we're going um, and the future for Stash. The future of financial services isn't a collection of financial products in a menu bar. And so for us, it's about how do we put those products together and have them help each other and deliver those products to customers when they need it. And that's going to take us a long time to really perfect and continue scaling into many, many, many different types of products. But the thing about it is that people need it and they want it. 
We're not building in a vacuum saying, okay, we're going to build something. I wonder if people will use it. We know people will use it. It's about how do we do it in a way that's super transparent and actually can deliver value to the customer's life. There are not many financial companies out there who speak like that. It's, it's got to be bigger than the words. You have to back it up. And we're really trying to back it up with all the work we're doing here.